guys, I am so excited to tell you. I am. I am so excited to tell you guys about the newest member of our crazy fleet, the newest member of the family. I could sit here and do a normal intro right now, but words can't describe what I have bought, but this can. She looking thick or what? I might look at her, ain't she looking thick? All right, story time. So I drove all the way out to Colorado to buy this special edition orange Ram TRX. Got stuck in a snowstorm, ended up rescuing another guy that was stuck in a snowstorm. That's a big hole you drove into. So we're currently standing in Colorado. We uh, came here to buy a truck and we've encountered some of the sideways snow they talk about. What's your name? Weston. Weston Chaplin? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Wait till I tell my boys back home. Dude, you will never believe who I met behind the truck stop. Hey, it's good to meet you, dude. Good to meet you too. Don't hit no more holes. After I got to the dealership to buy the truck, I figured out they didn't have it. <laughs> it was stuck in the same snowstorm that I was stuck in and didn't make it to the dealership in time for me to buy it. But they're like, don't worry, Weston. You can go ahead and buy it and we'll deliver it to your door. So. This thing showed up in front of the shop and I lost my freaking mind. Oh, hold on, hold on, that's a, oh my God! Dude, it looks so good! Uh oh, <laughs> yeah! Dude, look at the big old grill! It's so wide! She's so chunky! Thank you for letting me drive it one more time. You wanna do a burnout it's before we leave? No, no, that's bad. <laughs> oh my God! It's so nice! I know you guys might be wondering, what am I doing here in the middle of a field in Kansas in 15 degree weather holding a pair of bullhorns with a TRX behind me? Well, all I gotta say is I'm gonna need some zip ties and I'll show you. Some people that are new to the channel is gonna be like, what in the hell is this guy doing? Hold on, let me get my professional installing devices. Now, you gotta find the right location for it. Just where it fits perfectly. Look at that! She's ready to go now! I wasn't sure about her before. Now, I know, she's a real part of the family. She's gonna send it, she's gonna fly, she's gonna go fast, she's gonna roll over. I've already driven this truck on two wheels. We was doing a donut, it's all four wheel drive all the time until you tune in and turn it off. And it grips so hard that it almost flipped the truck over. All right, that was the first thing I want to do with the brand new Ram TRX. This is the second thing I want to do with my Ram TRX. Now, nobody's asked the question, but as redneck scientists, we have to figure out, can a Ford Raptor outrun a brand new Ram TRX? Now, here's the thing, it won't. Underneath the hood of this bad boy is a 6.2 liter supercharged Hellcat engine that pops out 702 horsepower. Hooked to an eight speed transmission, Baja suspension. She's wider than a regular truck. She's more beautiful than a regular truck. She's sexier than a regular truck. And she's faster. I'm telling you right now, you're screwed. This thing is going to wax it. It's going to be coming for the Raptor like a goddamn T-Rex. You ever seen Jurassic Park? So. You ever seen Jurassic Park? Sure. This, uh, this thing's going to be at the end of the line like, Rah! Oh, by the way, guys, this is my tamed racing driver. Yeah, Other people true. say that he's probably the ugliest man in Kansas. I just got to say, it's my brother, Garrett. <laughs> if I'm the ugliest man in Kansas and you look like me, what's that make you? Oh, shit, I didn't think this logic through. <laughs> Here's the rules of the race. This is the 2022 Field Nationals first race of the season. We got the Raptor, we got the TRX. The starting line is that little green tree. Straight line down the field. First person to make it to the drone and make it past the drone wins. You good with them rules? That's how a race goes. 
We go across the field. First yep. one to finish wins. This is called the Kansas Field Race, baby. Let's do it. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of when we used to race the go kart and the lawnmower. Somehow we really traded things up because now we have a TRX and a Raptor, not a golf cart and a lawnmower. The thing was, it always give you the faster car because you were shit at driving. Hey, I have always been a good driver. I was just younger then. You know what? I'm still going to give you that head start. I'm going to honk three times. He's going to take off. Then I'm going to count to five. And as soon as I get to five, I'm going to take off and chase him down before the end of the track. You ready? One, two, three, four. I gave him too much of a head start. I got too cocky. Oh no! I think we won. You won? Dude, I won by a mile. Not by a lot. By a lot! Not Dude. by a lot. By a okay, lot. let's do it off the line. Race up, head race. Okay, well, yeah, that's fair enough. On the third honk, we're gonna go, okay? On the third honk. Third honk. Third honk. Alright. We're really gonna go on like two and a half honks. <laughs> <laughs> The example of the best drag racer I know, Alex Taylor, I tried to jump. <laughs> Dude, you jumped so bad, too. I know, I was trying to, I followed her example. He jumped so hard, I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I just hit it, I... Dude, I'll admit, the Raptor did a lot better than I thought it would. It did pretty good for like, I mean, 700 horse. It did damn good. We figured that out. We answered the question. The TRX still does win. Now it's time to do the third thing I want to do. The third thing I want to do with the TRX is do a proper burnout. It's actually company policy now that whenever we get a new vehicle, we have to do a burnout in it. Small problem. The TRX is all wheel drive all the time and there's no way to put it into two wheel drive to do a proper burnout. That explains why I haven't seen a burnout in a TRX. Like you don't see anybody do burnouts in TRXs because they won't do one. Till now. We're either gonna break a brand new truck or we're gonna do an epic burnout that everybody's gonna be like, oh my God, that was awesome. This guy over here is just staring hella hard at the TRX. You wanna race? Bro, this shit's gonna toast me. No, I'm, this thing's slow. T-Rex, this thing's badass. <laughs> I'm on ass though, look how many fat people are in here. No matter, this thing's got a demon in it, I know that. Just hit it, I bet you'll win. Oh my God! He got me in the Sonata. Hello, little TRX. How are you doing today? I know, you want to be sold to an old man that was gonna drive you easy but you got sold to a redneck scientist. Hand me a uh, 16 millimeter ratchet wrench and we'll rip this bad boy right out. Here, here's your 15 millimeter wrench. Uh, well, it's only got 500 miles on it. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. What was I thinking? Okay, sounded like you were actually hitting things. I was. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> <laughs> we need to re reuse Loctite. Why you say that? It's a brand new truck. The Hellcat that Dodge sent us was a brand new car too. Well, I took his off of that one. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. There we go. Ow! Why do I keep touching the exhaust? Ow! Hit myself in the face. I got good news though. I broke it. You know how I said TRXs are all wheel drive all the time? Well, this one's rear wheel drive now. <laughs> you know something, Ram said, no, you can't have a rear wheel drive 700 horsepower Ram TRX. You know what I told Ram? With four bolts, you can do anything. <laughs> All right, let's go do burnouts. <laughs> this is the official ignition edition, initial initiation to the fleet. Oh. 